My dear students, now we are going to the chapter wise concept. Uh, the chapter is a trigonometry. The topic is a compound angles. Okay. Now we are going to the definition for the compound angles. That is, the algebraic sum of two or more angles is called a compound angle. So it represents if a small capital A comma B comma C are angles, then A plus B, A minus B, A plus B plus C, A minus B plus C, like that. That means. So sum of uh, 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 angles. That means the sum of algebraic sum of two or more angles said to be compound angles. So that's why. So this is the representation of compound angles. Okay. Now uh, formula. Formula actually proofs are no, not necessary. Proofs for these forms are not necessary. So these are the just applications. Using an objective questions and the IP board exam questions, so that's why you can concentrate on the questions. These are the expansions of sine function. This was sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Sine a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. What you observe here, here it is plus. It in the expansion also plus. Here it is minus in the expansion also minus. Now sum of these two expansions, sum of these two expansions, sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. That's why these two gets cancelled. So sine a cos b plus cos a sine a cos b plus sine a cos b. That's why two times of sine a cos b. Now difference of these two, this one minus this one, these two gets cancelled. Minus minus plus two times of cos a sine b. Now product of these two, actually product of these two. Now product of these two. Uh, so according to a plus b, b minus b form, after simplification we get sine square a minus sine square b, and the cos square b minus cos square b. That's why this is the that means uh, these are the basics of expansion of uh, sine function uh, with the help of the compound angles uh, a plus b, a minus b. That's all. Okay. So this is the sine expansion, sine a plus b expansion, sine a minus b expansion. Now sum of the two expansions, difference of the two expansions, difference means the first one minus second one. Now product of these two expansions it is okay. That's all. Now we are going to cosine. Now formula on cosine function here. Cosine expansion cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Now sum of these two expansions, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is nothing but two cos a cos b. Now difference from first one to second one that is cos a plus b minus cos a minus b minus two sin a sin b. And uh, multiply with negative for this one, cos a minus b minus cos a plus b is two sin a sin b. Now sum of uh, that means the product of these two, cos a plus b into cos a minus b is nothing but cos square a minus sin square b. Or cos square b minus sin square a. So observe. So you have to easily remember. Here it is. Easy to observe. Cos a plus b. Here it is plus. In the expansion it is minus. Here it is minus. In the expansion it is plus. But sin is. There it is plus for sin. In the expansion also plus. There it is minus. In the expansion also minus for sin. But the cos a little bit change is there. In this it is a plus. In co compound angles of a plus b, a, a and b plus, it gives minus. Compound angles of a and b minus, it gives plus. That's all. Okay. Now we are going to the formula depends upon the tan in terms of tan. Okay, right. Now we are going to formula depends upon the compound angles of uh, tan tan function. Tan expansion tan of a plus b is tan a plus tan b by one minus tan a tan b. And tan of a minus b is nothing but tan a minus tan b by one plus tan a tan b. Now, sum of these two expansions, sum of these two expansions, tan a plus b plus tan a minus b is nothing but two times of tan a into one plus tan square b by one minus tan square a into tan square b. And so, tan of a plus b minus of tan of a minus b is equal to two times of tan b into one plus tan square a by one minus tan square a into tan square b. Now product of these two expansions, product of these two expansions, so tan a plus b into tan a minus b is nothing but observe here in the both the numerator in the form of a plus b into a minus b. That's why a square minus b square. That's why tan square a minus tan square b by denominator one minus tan square a into tan square b. So that is also same formula. Now, so some compound angles of ABC, compound angles of ABC. 
tan of a plus b plus c is equal to tan a plus tan b plus tan c minus the tan a tan b tan c by 1 minus of tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a. That's why observe. So this sum represents always we have to take a consecutive terms, a sum of consecutive terms of three terms or four terms or five terms so like that depends upon a, b, c. That's why here this depends upon a, b, c. So a, b, c, three. That's why. So tan a plus tan b plus tan c by sigma tan a. Sigma represents sum of these and a product tan a into tan b tan into tan c product product. Uh, denotes uh, pi. That's why pi tan a. Pi tan a means tan a into tan b into tan c. Sigma tan a means tan a plus tan b plus tan c. In denominator also, product of, uh, that means uh, uh, sum of product of each two terms. Tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a. This can be represented as sigma. That's why sigma tan a tan b. Sigma tan a tan b is nothing but tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a. So, these are the compound angles in terms of tan. Now we are going to cut. Okay, my dear students. Now we are going to the compound angles in terms of cot. That's why cot A plus B is cot A cot B minus 1 by cot B plus cot A. And cot A minus B is nothing but cot A cot B plus 1 by cot B minus cot A. And the sum of the cot expansions. 2 cot A into 1 plus cot square B by cot square b square, cot square b minus cot square a. Here it is cot a plus b minus cot a minus b is 2 cot b into 1 plus cot square a by cot square a minus cot square b. So cot a plus b into cot a minus b is nothing but cot square a cot square b minus 1 by cot square b minus cot square a. That's a cot of a plus b plus c. It's nothing but same, similar to uh, tan. That's why it is uh, sigma cot a minus pi cot a by 1 minus sigma cot a cot b. So here you can observe the difference. Sum of them cot square b minus cot square a. So here first one minus second one is nothing but cot square a minus cot square b. So denominator is different. Okay. That's all.